the cleanup is on, leaving Diane Radishat pleasantly surprised. The cleanup that's going on today appears to be pretty extensive. She didn't expect the removal to start this soon. This massive homeless encampment is across the street from the Arrowhead Garden Senior Apartments in West Seattle. I call them occupants and I'll remain calling them that. Friday morning, crews started dismantling the infamous swimming pool and removing trash. Outreach workers even convinced Monica Parrish to leave her RV behind and take the transitional housing being offered. She's the woman who set up the pool and built this patio. It's just it's getting a little bit emotionally harder and harder every time. But there are still dozens of other people living on this piece of Washington State Department of Transportation property along Myers Way. And no word yet on when they'll be removed. It's not over by any means. We don't really care about us. For months now, Radishat. One of them defecated in one of our washing machines. And along with other neighbors have been railing on WashDOT and elected officials. Because I hear y'all say that you're helping them, but who's <laughs> not Going off on them at a community meeting earlier this week. No, they didn't give us a timeline. What would you like to say to the seniors along Myers Way, Governor? On Thursday, I confronted Governor Jay Inslee about the lack of a timeline on this removal. And I'm glad we're a state that's removing these encampments as fast as the dollars that have been lauded. We're doing this. We deserve it. We're going to keep it up. Good luck. But the seniors weren't given a timeline, Good Governor. Luck. Good luck. They might think that they're doing their job, but we're telling you you're not. Radishat says Inslee's dismissive attitude is also what left a bad taste in her mouth. What? did Governor Inslee need to say to you? What he needed to say was, you know, I'm sorry this is happening and we're trying to do our best and we're working with you um, in a different manner than we have in the past. The other surprise, notice who's doing the cleanup. It's the Seattle Parks Department, not WashDOT. The mayor doesn't want to spend city money on something that's on state property. I reached out to Mayor Bruce Harrell's office and WashDOT officials to find out who's paying for this cleanup, but I have yet to hear back. He's got plenty of other encampments to deal with. Veteran journalist Matt Markovich has covered the homeless crisis for years in Seattle and says at the end of the day, the mayor has always had the authority to remove encampments on WashDOT right-of-ways in Seattle, as long as he got permission from the state agency. Well, it's all about money. But Markovich says it comes down to money and resources. And if he goes and does it, then it defeats his purpose of having WashDOT take responsibility. Radishat says she won't be celebrating until everyone is housed and off this property. I know it's difficult for the people who live there, as it is for us. I mean, this is a human problem on both sides of the argument.